Hey guys, uh, Cameron here, bringing you a new video today, where today I'm going to talk about a film that I just saw last night, which um, I had some uh, iffy thoughts about. Um, this was a, a widely talked about film that uh, a lot of people have been talking about, uh, I guess. I mean, it came out like a few months ago, but it's, there's been a lot of buzz around it, I guess, uh, based on like Twitter and different things, but yeah. And there's been like memes around it too. Um, but yeah, yes, last night I saw Bird Box. Um, this, uh, it was interesting that I chose to saw this because at first glance it seems like a horror movie just because like, um, you know, like you have to like not see to survive and it's similar to like A Quiet Place where you, don't, you have to not talk to survive. I don't know, it just felt like, you know, it, it should be like a horror movie. But it, it really kind of wasn't. It was more like um, more like a thriller, um, which isn't exactly a horror movie. It's It kind of had some like scary elements to it, but here we are anyways. We watched it, but it is what it is. It's still a movie that I watched yesterday, and it, it had some intense elements in it, for sure. But um, as far as how I liked it, um, I wasn't a huge fan of it for a number of reasons. Um, one being just like how the story was structured with um, with like like they told like two different stories back and forth like they would switch between like this beginning story where like everybody was infected and everybody was hiding and like this group of people including Maori played by Sandra Bullock was hiding from whatever this thing was and like that basically tells the story of like where this started and like eventually it kind of leads to where she gets to where she's just alone with her two kids that she has one of them being her birth child and they're just like trying to survive but then like um it just keeps going back and forth like between this other story where it's just like they're just in this house they're cooped up they're trying to survive it almost reminded me of like this is the end which is a great movie um <laughs> a meme movie i might say um i love that movie actually that was pretty funny but um but yeah this is similar this almost has a similar feel that this is the end except without like the comedic aspects of it they're just they're just like hiding in this house trying to survive from something that's outside um because if they look if they look around outside them then they'll pretty much die um it's kind of a weird concept because um, basically what happens is uh, if you see these things, you either you either want to kill yourself or you go crazy and want others to see what you see, which the second one just kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And like supposedly it's like a Russian experiment gone wrong. Like they don't really do much to explain this phenomenon. Um, and exactly how it works and like the depiction of it is also kind of like stupid as well because it's it's almost like the predator but not really it's like it's almost like these like um, figures that you can sort of see they're kind of like cloaked and they like make a lot of wind I don't even know I don't even know what they are like they don't they don't give you any explanation they're just you can almost like see them sometimes at some points and then, like, if you look at them, you, um, your eyes, like, tur turn a different color, and then you just go crazy. So, yeah, um, but yeah, um, good intense action with, you know, some of, like, the, the fights, um, that, that sometimes they have to, like, fight crazy people who are, like, you know, infected or whatever. Um, that was pretty interesting, and a lot of times they'd have to, like, run away, um, from it, or, like, or like they wouldn't be able to see so they'd be blindfolded and running so like it, it, it definitely introduced some I'd say some new elements that that made it interesting to watch um, that you wouldn't normally see like like the idea of like running from something while you're blindfolded or like having to not be scared of something while you're blindfolded or or like when they're on this at towards the end they're like on this river and they have to like navigate it and they're like in like the rapids so like, they have to kind of see to um, navigate it, but Sandra Bullock, played, who plays Mallory, doesn't want them to see because she, she doesn't want any of her, her or her kids to die. 
So she tries going through the rapids without seeing. Uh, well, that was interesting. Um, and yeah, also, like, um, the creatures, they try to, like, um, make pretend there's someone else or tell you to take the blindfold off or try to, like, cause illusions to you or whatever. Yeah. But it's, like, it's, like, crazy to believe, like, this is, like, a, some Russian experiment gone wrong, and now it just annihilates the whole world, basically. Like, like that's whack. Like, Russians, you gotta chill out. Like, holy shit. But, like, <laughs> either way. Um, yeah. Um, some f performances-wise, you know, um, Sandra Bullock uh, gave a decent performance on this movie, um, is Mallory, because she goes through a lot. She... Um, when the movie was first starting, she was pregnant, and by the end of it, she's, like, very intent on doing whatever it takes for her kid, and, um, this woman who she let in, her kid as well, she let in this woman who had a kid along with her at the same time, so that was interesting, and, um, yeah, it, that was cool to see, like, I guess she kind of, like, forged a bond with them, but she didn't name them for some reason, so that was weird, sorry, I'm just going off about different things. But John Malkovich was in this movie, and I did not like him. I did not like him at all. I thought he was so dumb in this movie. Like, he was just a total asshole. Like, like that's his character. That's what his character is supposed to be. But, like, like he seems like so much of an asshole that, like, it looks like that's how he should be in real life because he's John Malkovich. Like, when you look at him, you're like, shut the fuck up, John Malkovich. You're such an asshole. Like... Get the fuck out of here. Like, every, literally every single thing that he said in the movie was, like, some asshole remark or something stupid. Like, like that's what his character was. But it was just annoying. Annoying to watch. And then, like, I think they actually had, like, the black guy f who was from Get Out, I want to say. Um, sorry if I'm racist, if it's a different guy. But he had glasses, just like, just like the black guy in Get Out. He was really funny. Um, he was funny in this too. He, he was like a good comedic relief, but sadly he gets youth early. Oh yeah, and they also like drive around a car with like no lights on it or like with the windows covered. So like that seems kind of impossible, but I guess they had like proximity alerts around them. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Either way, uh, yeah, it wasn't. I'd say it wasn't really a horror film, but. You know, it was still, I guess, somewhat of an entertaining movie. It just, it just felt like a mess, um, like, storytelling-wise, um, with the way the plots, like, switch back and forth. Like, I kind of just wish it would just start out, you know, with, like, them in the house, and then eventually, like, you skip to five years later, and then they're just there on the boat, and, um, and this black guy s survives with them, but... He ends up, like, sacrificing himself, um, as well, like, this black guy was great, but, like, I, this is, this is another stupid horror cliche that I hate. Why is it that the guy, the dude, always ends up making some stupid sacrifice and, like, unnecessarily killing himself just so the woman can survive? Like, that's just, like, such a cliche. Or just, like, or just, like, the guy dying in general. Like, like, it's always like that. Like, like, the guy will never be the lone survivor like in in movies like like I would have loved it if he survived along with Mallory um I wouldn't I wouldn't want Mallory to die but I would it would have been cool if he could have survived too but like these guys were like like threatening him and he like threatening them in, inside the house and he's like I'll distract him you go so it's like okay like you're gonna die and he's like and he like knew he's like you like put something in her hand and she's like just go i'm like oh, god this guy really like god damn it but, like, but yeah it, it had some definitely fun moments to it i would say um it just just wasn't all there like storytelling wise i feel like and the, like like the things i've mentioned before there's just there's just some real like um there's just some real like plot holes to it um throughout the movie I feel like as far as explaining what exactly these things do and how they were created and um, why they're making people kill themselves or or go crazy like I don't understand that like what what like threshold do you need to meet to be like crazy enough to like 
you know, not be affected by it, but still be alive. Like, that's just weird to me. Whatever. But yeah, I'd, I'd give this film... i give this film a 6 out of 10. Um, oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to get to was the ending. Um, you know, like, I don't want to, like... You know, I was really tempted to give this film a better rating um, after seeing the, the ending. Because, you know, endings... Sorry, I can't see my head. But endings often give uh, a movie a better rating for me. But, like, I really didn't want to, like, redeem it too much just because it got a good ending. Like, it did get a good ending because they found they found this, like, sanctuary where they could all, like, live and be peaceful. And it was a sanctuary for the blind people. So the blind people survived because they couldn't see. So, like, that was cool. And, like, it's a cool ending. But, like, I really don't want it to just automatically redeem the movie like it still wasn't that great of a film so yeah um that's why i'd still give it a six out of ten um, i'd say prior to the ending i would have given it like a five out of ten but yeah like structurally this this movie is just a mess but yeah it is what it is but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um stay tuned for something interesting tomorrow i'm sure it'll be good um or bad. Um, we'll see. Alright, well I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.